day one was terrific. What I really liked was the Ericsson presence throughout day one, not only in the speaking agenda, but also in the audience contributing to the discussions, asking the questions. We heard a lot from other important people in industry, particularly representatives from the U.S. government and our customers with the uh, national U.S. operators. I am now co-chair of the ORAN Alliance Working Group 11. It's really an important privilege to be able to lead industry on standardization of security in Open RAN. We've made a lot of great progress in Working Group 11 up until now, but we have further work to do, particularly around zero trust architecture. And I really look forward to this opportunity leading that effort. This is a very important effort, not only for Ericsson, but also for all of our customers globally. Open RAN networks need to be able to achieve a high security posture, and the way to get there is with a zero trust architecture. Zero trust architecture, or shortened to ZTA, is an actual plan for how to achieve zero trust in a network or system. With a zero trust architecture, you meet some key tenants that characterize zero trust, and when you meet all seven tenants, you have a zero trust architecture. Guidance coming from governments, the zero trust architecture coming from the US government, that needs to be formalized into standards for 5G networks, including open RAN networks. Different standards bodies, ADIS, 3GPP, and ORAN Alliance have decided on taking different approaches. Ericsson is leading the effort to bring those standards bodies together so we have one single common unified approach to have zero trust architecture in our networks.